Over the past four years, we have only been to the doctor once for sickness. friends I hope you're having a good day I just wanted to share some things with you that are on my mind right now because I have been sick this week it was a very short-lived sickness and I want to tell you why I think that is um, this is just my personal opinion and my personal experience with holistic methods of dealing with sickness this is just what has worked for our family and I want to kind of share um, our, our story briefly with you about health. I have been very fearful for a long time of many things, but God has delivered me from, from fear, really. Um, I used to really, really struggle, especially when my children were sick, with how to deal with the sickness appropriately. How would He want me to deal with the sickness? Um, you know, I knew he didn't want me running scared to the doctor every single time something happened or there was a fever or anything like that. And I guess I wanted to make this video because if you're in that position right now, I know, like I understand what that feels like and it is not a good place to be. It's not a healthy place to be and God does not want us crippled by fear. So, um... I have a, a good friend who has a sick little one today and while we're in the middle of cold and flu season and while I'm getting over something myself I thought it would be a great time just to talk to you guys about what we do as a family when we are sick um, and also how to prevent sickness so I believe that through many many prayers and through many many friends um, people that God has put in my path to empower me with knowledge about our bodies and about how our bodies deal with sickness. We are very strong in our beliefs that um, our bodies were created to heal themselves naturally. Um, that's not to say that we don't ever have to have the help of modern medicine, that we don't have to have the help of doctors, but just as a normalcy we should be able we should be expecting our bodies to do that work themselves um, so if you are in in this place of fear I just want to encourage you um, just pray just pray just ask God to deliver you of that fear um, read Psalm 91 that's like my go-to whenever I am feeling that nagging um, sense of fear that pit in my stomach that's just like wanting me just to crumple in fear um, I always read that we have we have prayed that psalm over our family over our children during sickness over our home when our kids were scared um, that is our go-to we actually even named our homeschool after that particular um, psalm so um, I just wanted to share some things with you guys today um, about what we do as a family when we are sick so if I'm sharing something here with you today then I'm going to link it down in the description so that you can check out what it is that I'm referencing uh, occasionally I'll say something that is um, that is homemade and if so then I'll try to link like a recipe for you to make your own um, in the description so uh, check those out when when the video is done all right, so number one, <laughs> I have a plethora of um, uh, of things in my toolbox whenever we are trying to fight sickness, and I probably have left some things off, but I've tried to make a list so that I can um, help to equip you better. Also, bone broth. Bone broth is number one on my list. I have been guzzling bone broth for the past two weeks for sure because I felt the sickness coming on and I did want to say this too that um, because I recognized that my body was tired for the last couple of weeks I was able to um, 
really pour some attention into my body with the these things that I'm about to tell you. Uh, so if we if we know we're in a particularly stressful uh, time in our lives, then that's when I will really just go hard and heavy with a lot of these natural um, preventative measures. And um, and then there's a few that I'll I'll share with you also for what happens what <laughs> what you need to use when you actually do fall victim to a, some sort of um, virus. So, like I said, number one is bone broth. Um, we make our own bone broth now, but you can get bone broth, and I'll link some in the description below um, that are good quality. You want to, do you want to get a bone broth that is from pasture-raised animals because it will um, it will just be better for your body. Um, and I just like my bone broth. I drink it when I'm sick or when I'm thinking I'm getting sick. I will drink bone broth with some salt and pepper warmed up in my favorite coffee mug. And I will just guzzle that stuff as often as possible during the day. Um, chiropractor. Shout out to my chiropractor who um, is just a wonderful friend. Uh, she actually, I, I would be amiss if I did not say that she actually is one of the key people in my life who um, has encouraged me to, to build knowledge um, about our health. And uh, before I met her, Connie, before I met Connie, I was very, very fearful. I did not know what to do. I always went and ran to the doctor if I ever needed um had any kind of question whatsoever which is fine if that is you I'm not judging you whatsoever um, I'm just saying there are other ways of dealing with sickness other than prescriptions and um, and many many times they don't need um, a prescription for whatever it is that you're trying to fight many times your body just needs some time needs some good nutrition and you will be well and you'll be better for it for not having had some sort of prescription some sort of antibiotic or something to take care of something that could have healed naturally so um chiropractor go to your chiropractor if you're sick we um always use our chiropractor if we are feeling like we're getting sick or we actually are sick we'll go there we'll get an adjustment it helps to align your body especially um, when you're feeling congested and you're you're getting all stopped up up here you might have some swollen lymph nodes your little ones might start getting some ear infections and that kind of thing your chiropractor is going to be your best friend because they will help prevent you from having to go to the ER, having to go to the doctor for a prescription for something um, that could have just been prevented with some adjustment so that your um, your mucus can drain properly and, and get out of your body. Um, let's see. Elderberry. I have my elderberry right here from my friend Kendra. So I buy elderberry locally. She actually uses our honey to make the elderberry that she makes to sell and it is delicious. The kids love it. It's a great way to um, to prevent colds and flus during colds and flu during the um, during the winter months. And usually, I will not feed my kids elderberry during the summer just because we're out. We're getting a lot of vitamin D. But if it is cold and flu season, about September, October, I start giving my kids a, a teaspoon of elderberry syrup every single day. And it, uh, people, elderberry syrup has gotten very popular in the past couple of years, so most of you probably know this. But it's not actually a syrup, not like thick like honey is. It is, it is pretty watery. Um, especially if you make it at home but it's just delicious so your kids will not you won't be able to pour it on anything necessarily but you'll just take it by the teaspoon and um, me and my husband do it as well um, then there's some holistic uh, medications that I actually started trying this year and I haven't had to use them on the children yet but I have used them on myself this week as I've been as I've been fighting off this cold flu whatever it is um and i i have tried to pronounce this and i can't so this is what it is i will link this in the description as well you can get this on amazon um oscillococcinum i think is how you say it oscillococcinum um and if that's wrong then i don't care you can laugh at me um 
but this is for flu-like symptoms and it's basically the natural version of Tamiflu. So I think this is a great thing to have in your um, toolbox when you're sick and I used this a couple of times this week as I was really feverish. So these come in these little vials and they're just little like beads <laughs> that um, actually are very tasty. So um, I guess they did that so that your little ones will eat this like it's candy because it actually does taste like candy. So um, it's just tiny little beads in here and you just put it on your tongue and, and um, swallow it or let it dissolve. And that's what these are. And you can take these one tube um, every six hours up to three times a day. So this is basically like Tamiflu. Um, then there's also another one by the same um, by the same company that is called Cold Calm. And this would be a little um, a little less. Uh, serious I guess if you just you know have a runny nose or um, some minor congestion uh, sore throat that kind of thing then um, cold calm is just another option for you it says they're quick dissolving tablets we've actually not used these yet but I've got these just in case we need them then um, I do want to say something about fevers real quick there is fever phobia obviously if you um, if you turn on your Facebook, you will see that your friends are terrified of fevers and um, it ought not be. So fevers are actually good. They're actually your body trying to fight off the infection. And when you inhibit the fever from doing its job, it actually prolongs your, your virus. So, um, so we let fevers go in our family. Um, for all of us we don't we don't treat with Tylenol or anything like that um, if it got super super high then uh, there's always a risk of a febrile seizure and some people do have that but uh, but my kids do not and um, and yes it is uncomfortable when you have a fever but I just try to remind myself that fevers are actually good they are increasing your white blood count so that it can fight off that bug faster um vitamin d so it was sunny it's not sunny right now but it was sunny out here um, earlier today and yesterday when i was trying to fight off this um, little cold that i have and i just laid out here in the sun for a while because i was just trying to soak up as much vitamin d as possible i'll also take a supplement vitamin d so i'll link that in the description as well um lots and lots of water I've got my water out here with me I've just been sipping it all day and I've actually put some um, some lemon juice in mine also and um, that really just tends to help me to get over something faster especially when it's congestion just to be able to drain that all just thin it out drain it out um, Epsom salt baths now I've been doing this for a while and basically they're detox baths so uh, if your kid's fever is getting up high, higher than you'd like it to be, and you're just a little concerned about it, um, give them an Epsom salt bath. So sprinkle some Epsom salt in a bath, and then let them soak in that for like 15 minutes or as long as, as long as they can, and that will help sort of rid their body of these toxins also. Um, nasal spray. This is something new I got this year. Two, and it's called Kids X Clear, and um, it's a nasal spray, a natural nasal spray with xylitol. Um, and um, the the pediatrician that I recommend listening to if you need some natural treatments is Dr. Elisa Song, and she's actually the one that I heard this from. I took a training of hers. All of these natural medications, she's the one that recommended all these. And this just clean clears out the congestion clears out the um, nasal cavity um, sleep super super important I probably could forego the entire list and just say sleep because um, sleep is so important I know when my son was sick a couple of weeks ago um, sleep was really what healed him the fastest I think like if he was tired I let him sleep and um, 
I think it's so important. I know personally when I'm not getting sleep and if um, I feel my body getting sick, I'm more than likely going to get sick because my body is not able to um, just rejuvenate if I'm not sleeping at night or anytime. Oils. So essential oils are something that I love. Um, I am not sold on a particular brand, so that might like unnerve some of you but I'm just not I've used these things for many 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 years and I've used different brands um, this is Eden's Garden this is a, a tea tree oil and when my kids are congested or when I'm congested I will um, take this um, uh, put a couple of drops of this on some uh, coconut oil on my hand and I will massage their chests and their necks and just help them to um, to open up some because that'll really help loosen all of this up right here and it'll help them to breathe better then uh, this is by plant therapy I have this in our shop actually in farm life outfitters shop so you can um, you can follow that link in the description as well if you want to check this out but this is called germ fighter and it's just got several um, it's got lemon clove bud eucalyptus cinnamon and rosemary and this is great for if you are trying to not get sick diffuse this speaking of a diffuser you can also you can diffuse any of these you can diffuse the tea tree oil um but um get yourself a good diffuser this is a now brand but there's so many different diffusers out there that are good we use this thing like every single day um this one is by doTERRA uh, this is called breathe when we are having some upper respiratory issues I will always use this one this was my go-to it's actually almost out because we we've, we've used it um, a lot in the past couple weeks um, and actually my mom was sick a few um, months ago or a couple months ago and uh, I let her borrow this in my diffuser so that that could help um, open her up she had she had upper respiratory issues also so it's called breathe this is by doTERRA Young Living makes some excellent products as well. Um, I've got so many. I've got so many oils that I want to. I could do a whole oil. I might. I might do that. I might just have to do an oil video by itself. Um, let's see. What else do we have? A humidifier. Run a humidifier. I do a warm mist humidifier. I know a lot of people like a cool mist. I do a warm mist humidifier. Um, whoever is congested i will put it in their room at night while they're sleeping um massage like i was saying about the oils get some good oils that are going to open your kids up now if you're concerned about a certain oil putting it on your kid always always dilute it um, but then there are also some um some brands i'm actually probably most of these brands I just talked to you about have a kids line that's already diluted and it's safe for kids to use so um, I've actually I didn't bring them out here with me to show you but I've actually got some from plant therapy in my shop that I use on my kids and their little rollers so you don't have to get the oils out and put them in coconut oil or anything like that they are already in rollers and you just roll them onto the to the kid and, and rub it in so i mean anything from tummy aches i've got a tummy blend that we put on the kids um there's um some for growing pains because i know a lot of my kids get growing pains pretty often or they used to and they would always want that and my kids love the oil so much that they will ask me for them when they don't need them i'm pretty sure um but if you are sick and you need a massage, like if you're a mom or a dad or anybody, if you need a massage, go to a massage therapist and tell them, look, I'm super congested. Please, you know, please help get this out. And, and they know generally what to do for that. Um, eat well, super, super important. <laughs> <laughs> and I failed at this this week because you know when you're sick you just want something that's kind of like comforting I guess you know because you're already feeling like crap so you just kind of want something that's gonna um, make you feel like crap more um, but I had some white chocolates this week like a lot of them like probably half a bag of them just because I was miserable and I couldn't sleep at night and that was not the best thing to do and I know that but um, 
eat well don't eat processed food if you can help it eat salads eat soups but honestly do not worry about eating just drink because your body is working really really hard to fight infection and so you don't want to overwork your digestive system by eating a bunch of junk or just eating a bunch period you just want to be able to drink um, and as long as you're staying hydrated you know you're not going to get dehydrated um so that's it that's my that's my list um, we really don't get sick anymore. This is a super, super rare that I got sick this week. And I honestly believe it's because we have dealt with a, a lot of stress for the past three or four months. We've dealt with a lot of family stress. We've remodeled our entire house. Um, it's been the holidays, so we've had one thing after the other to go to. We've had a farm to take care of. We've had, we've had um, animals to process. We have just had um a lot going on and i recognize that's probably why my body was just so tired and not able to fight off what this whatever this is this week um so try to de-stress uh if you know you're stressed not all stress is bad of course if you know you're super busy if you know you're not sleeping well take care of yourself so that so that you're not having to end up at the doctor but honestly over the past four years we have only been to the doctor once for sickness and it was when my daughter had a really nasty case of hives um, that was related to a virus and she was just super super miserable and I panicked a little bit as a mom so I just took her in but honestly she I'm sure she would have been fine um, had I not but um, no condemnation, no self-condemnation. You do what you need to do as a parent. Um, and if you're doing what you feel like the Lord wants you to do, then you're doing the right thing. Um, so, like I said, links are in the description for all of these things that I have talked to you about today. And I hope you'll check them out. And I hope you will stay well. Talk to you later. Bye.